Wanted to show you today how to do the Mars cap modification on a Yaesu VX8DR. In my last video, the Yaesu FT60, we showed you that. It took a little bit longer. It's probably a 10 minute process, 10, 15 minutes, depending if you have all the right tools, things like that. But the Yaesu VX8DR is a little bit better radio. It's my primary radio. I have the uh, FT60 back here in the background. But the VX8DR is submersible. It's quad band radio. It's five watts. Uh, and I'll do a review on this or give you more information on it here soon. Uh, I have the external microphone on it. I have a, a tri-band antenna, which is a Diamond SRH320A antenna. The GPS unit allows you to use APRS on a digipeter so that you can transmit your location to people. And also gives you like your altitude and coordinates, things like that at any time. Really nice feature to have. But this radio, they really make it easy for you to do this modification. To do it, all you have to do is pull the back of the battery off underneath the battery. You'll see this panel that's uh, basically just a cover. It's 3M adhesive on there, I'm guessing. Pull that off. You can use a little knife or a little razor blade. I tried not to damage mine because I didn't use the new one. They actually give you a new one in the pack because they expect most people to buy the Bluetooth unit for this radio. And I have the Bluetooth unit, but I don't really use it. so. I don't have the Bluetooth unit in there right now, so you can see this. But if you pull this up, and I'll do a close-up in, in the video of the actual resistor you pull off. There's a little resistor here in the right corner. It's the only one you can really see and get access to. You pull this resistor off. Once the resistor is pulled off, the radio is going to be factory reset. All you have to do is put your new panel on, uh, the cover that they give you, or just glue this one back down with some adhesive. Pop your battery back on. Put your uh, settings back in the radio and you're done so this this radio actually only takes about maybe five minutes to do if if that once your settings are back in you should be good you can transmit outside of band it's illegal to do so so i don't recommend it but i spent a lot of time in the woods by myself uh quad riding or in the outdoors where in an emergency situation i think all things go to reach somebody uh outside of band and i'm, I'm more talking less like the F, or more or less like the uh, frs frequencies or the GMRS. A lot of our, our buddies have smaller handhelds that uh, I think you're limited to half, half a watt of power on those. But those units don't travel very far, but more people have them because a lot of people don't get their ham radio tests and get into ham radio. But you know, if you need it in an emergency situ situation to reach out to somebody, I think it's a great thing to have. You don't want to be limited by you know, something as simple as that resistor being on. But like I said, it's illegal to do uh, to transmit outside of band, so I don't. I recommend doing the mod, but I don't recommend transmitting outside outside of the bands. Other than that, it's a, it's a it's a very easy process. You should be good to go after you do that. Radio should reboot. It'll be factory reset. Input your uh, frequencies and all your settings, and you're good to go. So, quick video today. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you can, and uh, I'll be doing some more videos here in the future. Thanks a lot.